Hello everyone, my name is Andrew, today we can see learning Python and today we'll talk about crypto index, we'll create our own crypto index and we'll talk about indices in markets. So why do we need them, what are those and how to use them. So let's start. But before we start that video, I want to recommend you my new course on database choice. Database choice is very, very important in all stages of development. And if you don't pick the product that fits, then basically you'll have a lot of problems in the future, in the present and even in the past. So yeah, if you, your dog, your family, your relatives, your co-workers, your classmates want to pick the best database for their specific project, then just go to my course and I will see you Once there. Again, today we'll create our own crypto index. And uh, before we dive into the code, let me tell you what do we need to know about indexes or indices, what are the what are those and how to use them. So whenever we invest in any asset, it can be a Bitcoin, it can be some stock, it can be a commodity like gold or silver or oil or anything. So whenever we invest, we really want to diversify our risk because if I invest everything in Bitcoin, so imagine that I invest everything in Bitcoin, let me open a month time frame somewhere here. So I buy Bitcoin with which um, costs $10,000. Everything may be great until that big fall. So if I invest everything in Bitcoin, I can buy that uh, or in any other. So if I invest in some stock, it can, it can fall down and I can lose money. So we don't really want the risk. And if I invest everything in one asset, so in a stock, in a commodity, so in one asset, that's what matters. I can lose my money very quickly. And um, we as investors want to diversify risk and that is why we really need some other assets to really remove the risk from our portfolio we can't remove it completely but we can reduce it so imagine that what i do is i buy a bitcoin and i buy some ethereum ethereum is another cryptocurrency that um, is very popular right now so yeah it's like the second largest cryptocurrency there is so bitcoin and ethereum what we can do is actually um, buy both of those and if we do that imagine that bitcoin loses five percent but ethereum gains three percent what does that mean the total loss is minus two percent that is much better than just minus five if i would only buy bitcoin but what if ethereum grows seven percent then i have gain which is two percent on my um, assets and that is very very basic diversification and also what I want to say is that that is not the advice for investing. So I don't advise you doing anything. Never listen to me. And uh, yeah, that's just it. That's the video about indexes in or indices in crypto markets. Yeah, very strange plural word of index. So yeah, indices. And um, what do we want to do today is uh, really create an index. So what is an index? If we want to really diversify our portfolio, isn't it better to buy the whole market? So we can buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, but imagine that both of those currencies fall down. We can't really predict which uh, one will, well, we can, we can uh, guess which, which asset will grow, which asset will fall, but that's not 100%, so it's only a prediction. However, what if instead of buying two currencies, three currencies, four, five, 10, 20, we buy the whole market. So imagine that there are 10,000 cryptocurrencies. What if we buy 10,000 cryptocurrencies? then um, our risk will be as low as possible. Why is that? Because some cryptocurrencies will grow, some assets will fall. And um, it literally works with any type of market. So with um, stock market, with other types, so it doesn't matter. So if you buy the whole market, you can be better off because you really diversify your risk. And um, as investors, what we can do is either buy the whole market ourselves, so buy all of the coins ourselves, but um, sometimes it's not as easy as uh, it is because if we're talking about stocks, so imagine that you need buy all of the stocks on the market. So you can buy 500 stocks or you can buy 100 stocks. It will be enough. But um, yeah, so you, you need a lot of money. The better way of doing that is by using indices. So the most popular index there is, is um, S&P 500. It's um, the index of, or it's a compilation of most valuable American companies and um, yeah, so as you can see, it's an index and uh, index, and it's only worth four thousand and uh, six hundred dollars. So it's it's much lower price than it is with buying the whole market yourself. 
and uh, basically what you can do with the uh, S&P 500 is buy it and you have 500 companies in your portfolio for four thousand dollars so that's kind of the whole idea of indexes and or indices i'm just gonna say indexes i i don't care so you can buy the whole market with an index because index is a compilation of different securities different assets and that is kind of the whole idea so the one big uh, opportunity for indexes indexes i'm just going to say indexes once again is um, to diversify your portfolio but sometimes we use indexes to see the market as a whole so i opened a month time frame so each um, of those candles is a month in uh, real time and as you can see we yeah we can really trace that uh, the stock market in us was growing for the last how many 70 for the last uh, let me say 50 years but yeah as you can see we also have those um, falls because uh, yeah i think you know what happened in uh, march of 2020 so there was some kind of a virus and uh, yeah because of that as you can see all the stocks fell and uh, that shows us the current state of the market as well as uh, it can help us diversify our portfolio so those are the main ideas for indices and uh, now let's just create our own because once again we want to create our index and we want it to be with the bitcoin so BTC, btc usdt is our choice what we need to do in order to create an index first of all we need to um, choose our assets choose the assets second of all we need to get the prices or get some other information in our in our case it can it will be price but it can be market cap it can be i don't know volume maybe but uh, some typically it's a price so get the asset information and uh, third of all what we need to do is uh, calculate calculate it and uh, i'm not going to tell you the formula right the formula right away but we need to calculate our index and we need to show it that's kind of it so choose our assets i'm gonna go to coingecko.com it's a website that allows you to um, to look at the crypto and um, what we have here is uh, yeah those i think those are yeah cryptocurrencies prices by market cap so those are the biggest cryptocurrencies there are so bitcoin ethereum uh, tether binance coin and some other coins so what we are going to do is create that's that's already python so we're going to write some code right now so we're going to create um, our list of assets and uh, let me put by bitcoin ethereum then let's choose binance coin so all of those are literally the coins from crypto market market cap so binance coin we can choose cardano and uh, let me choose savannah as well so those are the five currencies that we're going to use you can choose as many as you like so you can i you can choose bitcoin and ethereum you can choose only binance coin so you can even create indices um depending on the ideas that all of those assets in your index um follow or were created for so imagine that you have an index for a metaverse or you can have it for binance for some other place you can have um, your crypto index with the most valuable companies or most valuable coins you can do whatever you want basically we want to choose the assets for our index i'm just going to pick those for the example and uh, then we want to get the information of those assets so in our case it's going to be a price information and uh, in order to do that i'm going to install the api of coin gecko because it has a really really great api we don't even need a um, key for that api but uh, what we can do is use that simple slash price yeah, you can find that link in the description you can use simple slash price in order to receive the prices of the coins that we are going to provide here so in our case it's going to be bitcoin and ethereum just for the test ethereum and uh, versus currencies it's it's uh, in what currency you want to show your results in our case it's going to be a dollar so us dollar and as you can see so here response body bitcoin is forty one thousand dollars and ethereum is three thousand one hundred dollars so yeah we got the prices here and the only thing that we need to do right now is simply use that uh, use that api in our python program 
we can just use requests but what i want to do here is install pycoin giku or gecko and that is the library that allows us to work with that api easier and uh, let's create our api client so very basic stuff api client which is and let's import pycoin gecko before we create any client so py import pycoin gecko and api client is pycoin gecko dot coin gecko api once again we don't need um, any api keys here but uh, we can use it right right away so api client get price here we need to provide our ids and ids it's basically our assets so what uh, prices do we want to receive we want to receive the prices of our assets and uh, second of all we need to provide versus currencies i'm just going to provide us dollar as well so let's print it and uh, let's run it and uh, yeah as you can see here it is so we received all of the prices for our currencies and um, the only thing that we need to do right now is calculate our index so what i'm going to do is use prices as a variable for the result of get price request and then for each price so let me first of all look at the content of those of that um, object once again so as you can see it's a dictionary with keys that uh, point to dictionaries with keys of usd and the price so what we need to do is for each price so for price in prices what we can do is oh no it's, it's not going to be a price it's going to be an asset so for asset or actually what we can do is for asset in assets so for each asset we have in our assets um, list what we can do is use prices from asset so prices from bitcoin for example here it is and then we need to provide usd right here so i'm just mm, getting the result of the keys in python let's do it like that let's run it and uh, yeah as you can see here are the prices so here we have our integer and forward prices from the pycon gecko api the only thing that we need to do right now is calculate our index and uh, in order to calculate it the easiest thing that we can do is actually just get the average of those prices so average plus equals the price of the asset and then print average or we can call it index index which is average divided by the length of assets so as you can see the only thing that i do here is i basically calculate the average so i sum up every um, every element so every asset or its price and then i divide the average so the value that came out of that of those uh, prices by the length of those assets so that is very very easy let's run it once again and as you can see our index costs nine thousand one hundred and eight dollars if i'm going to refresh it i'm going to see well some somewhat completely picture so you can look at the cents at the end so 22 cents or still 22 but i will run it a little bit later and you see that the result did not change but whatever so yeah that is the whole idea of an index but uh, there are some problems with the indexes in or indices once again in uh, cryptocurrency world and uh, there is one problem with our index so the index that we are using does not account for the prices themselves so for example savannah can cost 100 hours bitcoin can cost forty thousand dollars and that is a really big difference if bitcoin moves like 500 hours it can have a very big impact on our average because of that what we want to do or what we really want to do is um, use a weighted average or use some kind of standard standard deviation maybe so weighted average is basically when we multiply our uh, multiply our average so multiply each each entry of our average so in our case it's going to be each price of each asset by some weight that weight changes for example if we are going to have um if bitcoin is like one bitcoin has weight of one ethereum can have weight of three because uh, the price of ethereum is uh, much lower than the price of bitcoin and uh, yeah i think that would be better but what i want to do is uh, create my own index show you the video of that and um yeah just really put that index on some kind of ethereum or maybe binance uh, chain and then we're going to see how the real average or weighted average affects our results 
But for now, I think average is enough. So once again, if you really want to create your own index, then think about that formula because those currencies can have different market caps, they can have different prices. And um, yeah, you need to think about the fluctuations in prices because they may affect your average. And that is very, very important. Okay, and that is the first thing that is very, very important. But the second thing is somewhat important for that video, but it's really important for the cryptocurrency market. So what I found out the last like few days, I've been dealing with crypto statistics. And what I found out is that cryptocurrencies are not diversified at all. So what is the problem? The problem is that um, imagine that we have 10,000 cryptocurrencies. Most of them move according to Bitcoin or Ethereum. So in cryptocurrency world, we really don't have any negative correlation. So each correlation of both coins or any coins is um, sometimes or it's almost always positive. And uh, that is pretty bad because you can't really diversify your portfolio if all of the prices move the same. So you can see Bitcoin and Ethereum and those graphs are like literally the same. So you can't really see a difference. Uh, well, okay, you can see the difference in um, the percentages of their falls and uh, gains, but yeah, that's kind of what it is. For example, if we are talking about Ethereum USDT, what we can do here is compare with BNB USDT, and I can show you the, I can show you the the the. the Okay, let me show you the line instead of those candles. Okay, so basically what we have here is, well, that's not really helpful, but BNB and Ethereum have a very strong correlation. That may be bad for the diversification. So whenever you build your crypto index, think about that, because if you really want to diversify your portfolio with indexes or indices, or if you really want to diversify your portfolio with anything you always need to think about the correlation and all other ratios there that there are so you really need to think about the statistics and the things that you are gonna buy once again it's not um, advice i don't advise you doing anything so never invest your money never do that and uh, yeah but that's what it is so we created a simple crypto index and um, that's kind of it in the next video maybe in the next video maybe in the video after that, I'm going to create a real crypto coin, which is going to serve as an index and you're going to buy it if you want. And yeah, that's kind of it. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel and bye bye.